heard a lot about cloud these days and uh, what are the benefits of cloud. I mean, uh, first the disclaimer, you know, that's part of every corporation, more than 500 people, they have such kind of second slides, so probably you're not uh, surprised to see one here. And then we have a short agenda, which basically explains what are we going to talk about. So first is like introduction to Kana Cloud. I think it's well suited for the audience. And we have some typical scenarios that we use it in. Then we'll take a look at cloud data, what did they do, and what's their experience with Kana Cloud. And then we'll have some more further information. Yes. So, some kind of cloud platform. Uh, it's a typical cloud platform. I mean, it follows all the all the benefits that cloud computing is uh, providing to companies. I'm sure you've heard a lot about those today, especially the software uh, keynote was extremely good outlining what are the different aspects of uh, cloud computing, what are the different characteristics you should be looking at, and basically the outcome, at least that I got from the session, which I very much want to re-emphasize here, is that you should really figure out what are you doing in the cloud and therefore choose the best offering for, for your scenario. So what we're trying to do with Kana Cloud is actually exactly that. We try to do the, the best offering to our partners in order to enable them to build applications in the cloud and also enable them to afterwards make business out of it. It's not only you know, offering some infrastructure, giving it over and uh, letting you figure it out, but actually supporting small companies building up their solutions in their business from the beginning to the very end where they make videos. So we we have several uh, key aspects which which we follow. One thing is to yeah go into the into the costs aspect of the whole story. So we eliminate the, the capital expenses. We we'll look into the operating expenses. So technically you don't need any stuff in order to serve and host those solutions in the cloud. And this is all handled for you by SAP. We uh, accelerate the innovation cycles by giving you all the infrastructure, giving you sales services to put your apps there, giving you the ability to certify your applications, put them on the SAP cloud uh, store, and let you make business with it. Uh, and then, of course, one very key point here is integrating with uh, existing SAP solutions and enabling you to provide better services to SAP existing customer base, which already is more than 230,000 uh, companies out there. So that's part of the general SAP Cloud strategy. It follows the, the direction that we have like the managed infrastructure on-premise, which is either virtualized or uh, bare metal. We have the marketplace for partner solutions and so on. And we have also a different line of business applications, which SAP is selling. I mean, from one side, we already identified the fact that uh, business is not a single line of business uh, figuring it on their own. Business is a collaboration between all the different lines of business in the company, and therefore social aspect is extremely important to us. We need to, we have the business network underneath, which was enabled after the Ariba acquisition. That way, we actually offer numerous opportunities to companies to make to expand further their uh, their reach. And then the basis of that is basically kind of, kind of cloud platform. So this is where all the solutions are, and uh, what we offer to partners as well. So what are the key components out of that? Uh, we enable people to develop applications, which is fairly quickly. You don't need more than like five minutes to start that. Actually, because I see that you are making pictures of the slides, I will tweet the whole slide deck on slide share after the session. Uh, so, I mean, no need to really uh, have like low quality uh, phone pictures, and then you get the real thing on slide share after. Uh, another thing is to yeah, figure out what kind of applications you need to do. I mean, SAP HANA is something that I'm pretty sure if anybody heard of SAP HANA, by the way. Okay, pretty good. So, as you know already, uh, HANA is providing a, a way to build completely new class of applications, uh, scenarios which were not available and not possible before due to the very slow turnaround time for, for data when it was stored on this. Currently, it's all in memory, and therefore, this is opportunity to create new scenarios which were not possible before. So we have Kana now in the cloud as an offering, but of course I mean, you need to distinguish for yourself. I mean, do you really have an analytical scenario which will really leverage Kana, or you would rather need a more traditional relational storage like Sybase, which will also offer the service in the cloud. So again, yeah, it's coming back to the keynote from the morning. I mean, you need to figure out what is your scenario and what is best for that particular purpose. We are looking for ways to extend the value proposition for our customers. I mean, all the SAP customers already they have a large investment into infrastructure solutions, uh, which is actually the backbone for their business. 
and they're constantly asking for new scenarios, so new functionality uh, and, and new value that they get out of those investments. And Hana uh, Cloud is offering a way how you can connect directly to an existing SAP system on premise without having to have a big hassle project with IT, uh, opening up infrastructure, setting up uh, firewalls, uh, and getting approvals all over the, the board here, here and so on. Uh, we have a very lightweight service which gives you direct VPN-like access to an existing SAP system of premise uh, and leverage the data out of there. So it's, it's basically a direct gate to the, to the SAP system now. Monetizing your solution is another important part of the whole, the whole journey. Uh, at the end, we have a customer base which is more than 230,000 companies, and this is your potential market reach. Uh, SAP will support you with, with your go-to-market in terms of getting your app on the SAP store, uh, taking go-to-market, taking your go-to-market events, uh, building up your uh, your marketing materials, and so on. We give you some templates. And in general, we are able to support you in many of those both market activities, including the sales side. So we'll get more details of that from the, at the back. There are several key services that you can use from HANA Cloud. First, we offer a standard-based development environment. The benefit of that is that uh, it's based on Eclipse. Eclipse is a leading open source uh, development environment for Java. It also is currently expanding into other environment, uh, in other languages like JavaScript and Ruby. There are plenty for that as well. So, the uh, HANA Cloud Developer Studio is based on Eclipse. We follow all the Eclipse uh, trends in terms of like sticking to the latest version, uh, keeping our plugins up to date, and so on. Basically, you start by taking Eclipse out of Eclipse.org and then installing our plugins. The HANA Cloud toolset is also available from the Eclipse Marketplace. Uh, you can search in there for HANA Cloud and you will get all the tools. We have Persistency Service, as I, as I mentioned already. It offers several flavors, and one of them is HANA, which is more oriented towards uh, big volume analytics. The other one is Sybase, which is more like a traditional relational database, which is, of course, getting a lower cost and offers the corresponding uh, qualities. We have a scalable document service, which you can use to store files, documents, revisions of those, and so on. But of course, you're free to also plug in an external content management system. You're not in any way restricted to using what the platform is offering. We have connectivity service, which I, I mentioned already, which is an essential part of the offering. It enables you to build solutions which extend SAP uh, existing ones, and that, by that, add additional value to customers which they are willing to pay for. We have Identity Federation, which basically means that you can either use the SAP ID service, which is uh, the custom, which is the user base for all the SAP online presence, or you can federate authentication to existing on-premise identity providers which customers can install. And this is cons this is configured basically for every consumer of your of your solution out there in the cloud. Many companies are unwilling to hand over their user base to an external system which will do authentication for them. They want to be in control of that. And this is exactly what we offer with the IDP Federation. We provide remote monitoring and alerting for applications, so you get alerted in case of issues. At the end, it's cold, so uh, yeah, in case we figure out something is going wrong, you get an alert and you have a chance to react. Of course, in case there are issues with infrastructure, you know in the cloud, something that you should have learned already is that everything fails sooner or later. I mean, on the infrastructure side, of course, we are prepared for that and we have a 24 7 support which is taking care of that. Uh, but still, for your apps, you need to know what's going on and we are providing that level of transparency as well. We have mashups of uh, third parties' uh, content and your own content using Cloud Portal. So we have a lightweight portal solution, which is part of the offering, which gives you a chance to define lightweight portal sites which are served out of the cloud and which can contain from one side data from internet sources, from another side they contain, can contain data from on-premise sources. Assuming that your customers have invested already into on-premise systems and so on, all that data can actually be brought out in the cloud using Cloud Portal. The benefit of that is that the Cloud Portal is especially optimized for uh, serving content for mobile devices like iPads and uh, Android tablets, which makes it very easy to expose your customer on-premise data to people out there in the field. So this is the kind of typical scenario that we see. And then again, the sub-store integration is uh, the you know, cherry at the top. 
uh, which once you're ready with your app, you're through with your development cycle, you have done like initial piloting and so on, you can go forward, you can submit your app to the SAP store, you get, you get it cloud certified, uh, and you start generating dates out of there. So this is a typical portal site, as, as it looks like. I mean, I just wanted to give you some, some idea. So that can be content that you're free to, to generate yourself. This can come from an on-premise system. Uh, and all of that is consumable on a mobile device, as you see it over here at the cloud uh, Mobile platform is another part of the offering, which is essential for <coughs> completing the end-to-end -end story. Most of the people, when they talk about cloud, they talk about mobile consumption. I mean, they never say it directly, but this is what they mean uh, under the surface. I mean, typical scenarios here, enabling sales, sales people, they are out in the field to get access to customer data, uh, enabling, uh, you know, delivery guys getting access to the customer data, and so on. All of that data is typically sitting very well secured somewhere on premise, and it is nowadays consumed primarily through mobile devices. And uh, so what the mobile platform offers here is, first of all, the, the ability to connect on-premise data sources and expose data from there. It gives you a chance to connect to other cloud solutions running out there. It gives you a way to build native experience on the different, different mobile platforms. And, you know, enables customers to purchase those from the SAP mobile store. Again, identity, um, Identity management integration comes out of Bosnia. What the mobile platform offers as well is the ability to do over the air update of your mobile content. Something which typically your users would have to do either on their own or they would need to take special care about. It also offers a chance to define a smaller subset so you don't have to really publish your app to the, like the Play Store or the Apple App Store. And so it gives you a chance to provide an app which is consumed only within a certain company. Something which many Many companies find valuable because they don't want to get their, their stuff exposed to the, to the white public. So what are some typical scenarios that we, that we use the cloud platform? If you look at SAP solutions, I mean, that's one of the, I mean, we, are on, we are our own main customer. So a number of uh, SAP cloud solutions are hosted on the cloud, on a cloud platform. This includes like uh, process modeling, this includes like uh, supply chain. Uh, solutions. This particular product stewardship network is basically a collaboration network between different uh, manufacturers to exchange data about uh, product compliance regulations. We have this precision marketing, which is uh, uh, targeted, uh, targeted promotions, depending location-based targeted promotions, depending on where you currently you get promotions from certain stores, whom you are a customer. So those are just a few of the many examples which are hosted in the Hanna Cloud. We have success factors extensions which are now ramping up. Success factors, as you probably heard, is a, like the leader in uh, human capital management solutions in the cloud. And with Hanna Cloud we offer possibilities to extend further the functionality that success factors is here. One of the first customers that we, or partners that we kept here certifying their app was P3. I mean, what they built is such kind of a nice facility management app. So it gives you a chance to basically reserve facilities for upcoming meetings and other events. Uh, they were the first to certify, uh, that's why we feel sort of obliged to mention them. Uh, it's a resource for continuous mention. That's the mobile client, that's how it looks like, and this is how that's uh, it's, it's always better to leave partners to, to talk for themselves. Another example is Focus. It's running in the healthcare space in the Netherlands. It gives access to patients uh, to their medical records across multiple uh, hospitals. Uh, something which is now mandatory in the Netherlands since, uh, since the recent regulation changes. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Jay to share his own experience. I, mean, I can tell you many stories about partners doing this or that, but it's always better to hear that from first hand experience instead of me retelling you what I heard from people. So, Jay.
cloud data, talk about what cloud data technologies are using, what are indicators, and why we feel on the cloud. Good, good, good. Just a little bit more view about cloud data. Cloud data is not the most easy to jump in. This was possible 
improving efficiency, productivity, all of that is possible because of the platform that we chose. We chose HANA, uh, HANA Cloud and HANA uh, Database. A little bit of technical stuff here in terms of the architecture that we use. Very simple, as, as you were told, five minutes very fast to be able to take advantage of HANA Cloud. What does HANA Cloud do? Previously, as we were developing the app, we had to host this in Amazon Cloud. We had limitation on the size that was available. 128 gig, and we could go higher than that. So size was an issue. Ability to, to uh, utilize tools was an issue. Libraries was, was an issue. Well, natural extension for us to take advantage of HANA Cloud. What HANA Cloud did was it gave us access to the R server, the R model, gave us access to the predictive analytics, all of the libraries that come in HANA. We were able to utilize that to HANA Cloud. We didn't have to worry about the stuff. Simple SAP mobile platform access. We were able to build out algorithms and take advantage of that. What it also does is it allows us to access it from anywhere at a very high speed and, and take advantage of that. So as a partner, this was extremely critical to us when it came to developing to be able to build a much better model. That was very uh, helpful to us. That's a bit of technical stuff here. Now, coming to the business benefits, you know, what does it mean to cloud data, to be a partner with SAP, partner on SAP Cloud? Why, why go that route? What are the benefits? Well, as a partner, you're not only looking for something where you can be able to do uh, your development. There's a lot more to building an app. There's a lot more to selling an app. There's a lot more to go to market, literature, access to people. Partnering with SAP gave us that ability to extend our ecosystem to SAP's ecosystem. Be able to go out there, be in front of people, to be able to run campaigns, to be able to be part of webinars, take advantage of the extended sales force that SAP provides. So we were able to take advantage of that, build something where we can also bounce off technical ideas and run through that. So having that capability helped us tremendously in building this and bringing it forward. Uh, now, I'm not going to read the slides. Uh, you all are going to get access to this slide. So you will have access to that. You'll be able to read it. But that, that's where this application has been able to allow us to bring the cost of healthcare down. As SAP always says, run your business better, we were able to run our app better, our business better. So, with that, resources in the cloud. This includes materials and samples that you can use during the development of your app. This includes uh, the forms. It includes also resources on the SAP developer network. There is a very strange echo here. I'll try to see here in the back. Or I can use that mic. Coming back to that. So 
So you get all the resources. Sorry for that. So you get all the resources on the SAP Developer Network, which is supporting you throughout your video work. And uh, there, there are tons of materials there available, so you can actually develop your app, get technical support, uh, get your questions answered. You can find all, on that, all that on sap.com slash cloud developer. This is the, the link for our developer uh, materials. You should, you should start actually completely for, for free. I mean, if you go to the, to the developer network, you can register for a developer license of Kana Cloud. I mean, it requires nothing more but like five clicks. Uh, accepting there the license agreement, which basically says that, you know, this is a trial, so you shouldn't expect much from it. Uh, and then you're off to go, developing your, your app. I mean, you're limited in resources, but uh, it's completely fully functional uh, platform underneath. Yes. We provide you, I mean, once you decide to make the next step and go into the certification program, we provide you with certain resources that you can use for developing your app, for doing uh, continuous delivery, testing, qualification, and so on. We, this includes also a volume of storage that your app can use, and it's available for your development. Uh, you have also a number of, uh, of gigabytes for storage, uh, for uh, structured storage and unstructured storage for files, as I mentioned, document service and HANA. Um, and then at the end, you go through a certification cycle. I mean, this, this means that your app will get reviewed, uh, there is certain process that you go through. And afterwards, it gets published to ACP store. So technically, it becomes available there. Uh, you get the chance to, to use the ACP Partner Certified logo, uh, which you can use in your branding materials. Uh, and you can start generating leads through ACP store. I mean, there is a standardized partner, a standardized partner contract, which is uh, governing all that process. Uh, and for more details, you can uh, speak afterwards with, with my colleague sitting over there, Nina, play around. Uh, he can provide you with all the further details about the partner program and uh, how this is facilitated. I mean, just to, to make your life easier, I mean, what I'm going to do is simply show you what I have in mind. So if you go to, as I said already, acp.com slash cloud developer, I don't have network. Anyway. stuff for wireless these days. Okay. So let's go. Should be something which is uh, featured with uh, very good connectivity. Okay, so that's the developer center that you will see in a, in a moment, moment wrapping up. So here you get all the details and all the materials that I already spoke about. Uh, and through here, the like, most prominent asset that you see as well is the, the free developer edition logo. I encourage all of you to get one of those and simply try it out. That's the easiest way to get acquainted with the platform and see what it can do for you. As part of the initial package, you get a number of samples that uh, you can directly deploy and try on the cloud, and afterwards you can start from those. So you don't really start with a new empty file saying "Hey world, but you start with something meaningfully ready. How to find the certification program? It's SAP Cloud Apps Partner Center. Uh, this is your resource for all the materials around the certification program. You can watch some of the testimonials here. You can read about uh, the program, get more details, or simply write back to our colleagues and they will get your case support. That's all I wanted to, to show you today. Uh, if you have any further questions, we'll be sticking around afterwards. Feel free to approach us and uh, yeah, we can answer any questions. So it's an no, all questions answer kind of offering. Thanks and see you later.